Good morning. Welcome to another 6 Minutes with Dato' Zaid Ibrahim. Dato' Zaid is a lawyer, politician, uh, but more often than not, in the last few years, he's been uh, writing a blog and commenting on things of national importance. Uh, Dato' Zaid Ibrahim uh, runs the blog called Zaid Gis, and today I'm going to ask him, what does he think is fundamentally wrong with leadership in Malaysia? The three parts to that question, really. We, we, firstly, we talk about political leadership. Within AMNO, we have this contestation between Tone's group and the Prime Minister's group. Uh, it has been going on for months and uh, obviously there is no end in sight because I don't think Tone has the number in Parliament. We are a democracy, so you want to remove the Prime Minister, you either do it through the party way, party election, which is past and gone, or you do it the parliamentary way. And Tone hasn't got the number, that's why he keep on attacking Najib personally. And I think that should not continue for too long because that brings uh, no result. Uh, on the part of the political leadership, Prime Minister is very weak. He has no control over the police. He should be changing the IGP, he should be revamping his cabinet. He should be, should be in charge. And we can't be playing with fire for too long. It will burn us. And then we have, of course, the FELDA problems, we have economic problems, we have GSTs. So you see, there's no control. The third part, to make it more complicated for this country, is the, the religious leadership. And here again, you have Jakim and, and, and other Islamic bodies coming out with their own laws, with their own rules, their own regulations. That's breaking us apart, that's dividing us further and further. And there seems to be no control over this. You can't go to concerts where you cannot mix men and women, you cannot dress in a certain way, you can't sing in a certain way, you can't even laugh in a certain way. So, complete paralysis. But then some people say that's actually democracy in action, that, that, that everybody is free to say and do what they want to do. Because you're talking about leadership, uh, I think uh, a function of that lack of leadership is the lack of good governance in Malaysia, that, that there's no common sense. So everyone's free to say what they want and implement what they want. What, yeah. What's your opinion of that? People, they always say that, you know, they say you must be sensible, you must be uh, reasonable. You know, you can't get upset because you see the sign of the cross. Uh, you can't get upset because people enjoy themselves. <laughs> so there's a lot of education required, of course, you know. But in this uh, atmosphere in this environment where you mix politics with religion and bad economic management you have this what we have today and, and governance is impossible when there is no leader I mean even if it's bad governance you must have a leader <laughs> we don't even know what we are <laughs> on the flip side uh, the opposition too seem to be mired in in infighting uh, uh, although there's a weighty issue of past trying to implement hudud uh, which is of great concern to its two allies in Pakatan Raya. So do you think what Pakatan Raya is going through mirrors what Barisan National is going through? Yes, in, in a way it's very uh, unfortunate because with Barisan National having no answers to all this big question, uh, I would have thought the opposition would be in a position to get together and, and uh, impress on the people that they have the solution. I can never understand why I pass just because they have one, they control one state government and have some seats in Slango. <laughs> They think they can do wonders by getting involved with this hudud thing, you know. They should focus on forming the government, they should focus on being part of the federal government. Then, by democratic means, persuade people, not by fear, not by invoking God every time they don't have an argument. This is not how you do it. You must gain the support of the people first. And it's unfortunate that Pakatan is, uh, is caught with this short-sightedness and poor leadership of Hadi Awang. And our past should just jettison him, dump him, and, and put someone else to save the opposition. From what you've been saying, uh, Dato, uh, you get a feeling that on both sides, uh, you have politicians, you have mavericks, you don't have though leaders and statesmen to, to sort of get their parties, their coalition, and, and, for, and then by a certain extension, Malaysia, out of this this uh, lackluster leadership that we are going through the last few years. The solution, I think, for Barisan is difficult because Amno is the dominant party and Amno is, is I don't see the change in the calm from Amno. From I, I think the, the, the future lies more with Pakatan, you know. I think if they can just get past to be more moderate, if, if at all possible, get Azmin to lead uh, PKR, 
give him free hand, not be tied up so much with the Anwar family and the Anwar issue. And DAP remains solid and focused as, as they are doing now. And I think that's the solution. And, and that is the only way that we can then put up a clear policies, clear a roadmap for the country. Where does that leave to Dr. Mahathir Mohamed? I think it's good that he continues talking in a sense because I think in a way that will probably shake up Amno a little bit. But I don't think he'll be successful in that sense because Najib probably knows that he just has to keep quiet, which is his specialty. And then the voices of Mahathir will become more shrill, the attacks will be more personal. And after a while, I think Tone also will lose credibility and, and traction. That's why I proposed the other day, we should all cross party lines and select a leader that can sort of stop the rot. But obviously Mahathir thinks the future of the country is, the, is unknown. And, and Teku Rizali somehow seems to think like that too. As so long as you are in that sort of silos, you can't change this country, you know. If, if the, the, the good of the country is equivalent to the good of Amno, then we are finished. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Zaid Ibrahim. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Zaid Ibrahim.